Hello and welcome to another program of Saving the Nature in 3 Minutes. I am Mr. Echo. And I'm Mrs. Friendly. Today we are going to send our wonderful inspectors all over the Maldives Islands to investigate posters, posters, and bays. 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 Let's see what they've got for us today. Inspectors, do you hear me? Do you hear me? Do you hear me? Hello? 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 Okay, so, Cobra, please. Good morning. Most of us have encountered, while on a walk, or on a bike, or on a bus, on our way to schools, posters attached to walls, all trying to grab your attention for upcoming events. There's nothing wrong about that. However, some of these posters date back to four months, and sometimes even a year. And that's the problem. People are enthusiastic to stick these posters, and they're not bothered to remove them, unless the environment clears them off. Obviously, this problem is very common near main roads. These posters, these outdated posters, will remain here until they're carried away by the wind or rainwater across the street, into your front garden, into the fields, and sometimes even into the sea water. So, what are we proposing? These notices often have telephone number or some kind of identification code. And your law should be passed, where if these posters are still hung after a number of days, say 15 days after the event has occurred, the person responsible should be fined. <laughs> Notice boxes should also be put up, so that these posters can be gathered in one place, and protected, and better protected against natural factors. Thus, preventing posters from ending up in base. That's a big lot of rubbish in every sense of word. This eyesore is almost irrepressible. And the smell even more so. Don't even get me started on rubbish guys. Have you ever taken a look at the amount of rubbish dumped here? I mean, come on, people. Magazines, noodles, butter tub, and even a saw. Come on, man. Such litter is destroying the natural habitat. And we humans are to blame. Something should be done, and urgently. As for bulky waste, let us remind you that you can call your local council office and they will dispose of it by the book, and for free. What's more, your unwanted item is got rid of in less than two days. As for domestic and smaller waste, it has become quite a necessity to recycle. Did you know that 60% of the rubbish that ends up in the dustbin could actually be recycled? If that's not a pure waste, then I don't know what is. You're right. We want our generation to breathe in a healthier and live in a clean environment. It is now time to save nature. To you, Mrs. Friendly. Welcome back here and well done once again to our inspectors for their easy solutions for the discussed problems. We hope that you take a moment to consider and evaluate the information I have provided you with and realize that for a true improvement and immediate action is required. Isn't that ready, Mr. <laughs> well then, this is your two minutes end. Until next time, I wish you an echo-friendly week. Goodbye! <laughs>